All right, what's going on, y'all? Today we're gonna to talk about my gym bag and the gear I like to use in the gym. This is a question I frequently get on, you know, what shoes do I prefer to use in the gym? Um, what exact equipment, um, straps, wraps, all of that do I like to use? And then my uh, bag itself. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to go through my whole bag, show you my whole setup that I use every day in the gym. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about shoes. So this is a question I get pretty frequently um, and I swap between a few different pairs. So I've got um, just regular Converse high tops. I also have Nike blazers, but my all-time favorite gym shoe are Vans. Um, I've been using these for about six months or so, and I'm not uh, I'm not going back. These are what I use about 80 to 90 percent of the time, and I use them specifically on every leg day. The grip on the bottom of these um, is better than any other shoe that I've used. I've even tried Nobles and um, actual training specific shoes, and Vans, in my opinion, are the best. So. Um, especially on stuff like hack squat and then barbell squat, um, the grip on these is pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and talk about the bag itself. So, so this bag is from a place called Wolfpack. Um, I actually have two of these. This is my regular everyday gym bag. And then I actually have one for when I travel. So this is my travel Wolfpack. Um, the reason why this one is unique is the front pouch can actually carry um, three meals. Um, sometimes I've actually been able to stuff four in here, but there's a spot for ice packs. Um, so you can actually have this as a meal carrier plus a gym bag. So whenever I'm on trips or I'm traveling around to other gyms, all of that, I like to go ahead and use that bag. Um, but this is my everyday bag. So like I said, it's from Wolfpack. The belt um, is a custom belt that I got from a place called Crown Customs. They do pretty uh, insane work. Um, it's not a cheap belt, um, but this belt is very, very high quality leather. Um, it's by far my favorite um, weightlifting belt that I've ever used. The cool thing about it too is it's got a magnet. So whenever I'm done with the set or anything like that, I can just go ahead and essentially just stick it to um, whatever equipment I'm using at the time. Um, just kind of get it out of the way for a second, let myself breathe in between sets, all of that. Um, but that's my belt from Crown Customs. Um, so for the bag, so in my bag, Let's go ahead and talk about my headphones. So these are um, Under Armour headphones by The Rock. These are The Rock Edition. Um, they're just regular over-the-ear headphones. Um, I did use some um, actual you know, cord headphones a while back, but um, since I've swapped over to over-the-ear headphones, I'm not going back. The nice thing with these two is they've got noise canceling. Um, so when I'm deep in prep and I'm frankly not wanting to, you know, hear anything else going on in the gym, I turn the noise canceling on um, and that really, really does help. Uh, but these ones, like I said, they're Under Armour um, Rock Edition. Um, I think they're coming in a couple different colors. I went with black. So for straps, I actually have a couple different pairs of straps. So these ones are har by Harbinger. Um, these are what I use on 80% of movements. Um, pretty much everything on back day except bent over barbell row and rack pulls, I'm gonna go ahead and use these straps. Um, they've got a little bit of a padding, but I don't like the straps that have just tons and tons of padding and gets it really thick. Um, so these ones have just enough that it's not going to rip into you, but um, it's not overboard. So pretty much any pulling movement besides the really, really heavy stuff, I go with this. For the really, really heavy stuff, I have some Versa grips. So these Versa grips, they're a little bit different. So instead of actually wrapping um, the straps around the bar, these ones will essentially just stick in your hand like this and they've got really, really good grip on it. So um, any really heavy movement, um, any deadlift movement, rack pulls, bent over barbell row, I'm pulling these out. Um, but these are the two different straps I use. I've got the Versa grips for the heavy stuff and the Harbingers for pretty much everything else. Um, for wrist wraps, I swap between two different types. I've got these ones by Rogue. Um, these ones are just a bit longer um, and these ones are by Gasp. Um, but the, I pull these out, you know, whenever I need, you know, a little bit extra wrist support, you know, if I'm doing a heavy uh, pressing movement, something like that, I'll go ahead and pull these out. Typically, I'm going with the gasp ones. Um, I don't see myself a lot of times needing the extra length, but um, every once in a while, you know, if I'm feeling, you know, just really, really um, bad wrist pain, then I sometimes whip these out. Um, but this is for my um, wraps and straps. Now let's go ahead and get into the main pocket. So... For the main pocket, this is a question I get asked all the time. I don't use um, knee wraps. I like to use knee sleeves. You know, if I was doing, you know, a lot more powerlifting, um, strongman, something like that, I might use more straps. And I used straps back in the day, but since I sw uh, switched over to sleeves, um, I love these things. So I get mine from a place called Bear Complex. 
um, and it's complex with the K. These things I've gone through now two or three pairs over the last three years, um, and I absolutely love these. You know, I, I do focus on high intensity bodybuilding, so I do relatively heavy hack squats and barbell squats, and these things take away pretty much every bit of knee pain and give me um, plenty of stability um, for those movements. So these ones are Barbear Complex. The most important thing I carry in my gym bag is my logbook. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know how I've talked about um, the importance of logging everything. I've gone through since I was in college. So the last decade, I've got tons and tons of these logbooks. I um, mean, I sometimes pull them out to see what my lifts were back in the day compared to now. Um, but essentially I write down every movement, um, every set, every rep, and then sometimes I'll put notes on there. So the way I like to use this is a question I get asked all the time. How do I use my logbook? Is this right here was push a um, workout. So I'll go back to the last push a, so, you know, that would be the week prior. I'm going to look what, you know, my top set was for that. And I'm trying to progress from there. So, you know, if I had already maxed out my rep range, let's say my rep range was eight to 12 reps. Let's say last week I got 12 reps at 135s on dumbbell incline press. The next week I'm going to go ahead and go up to 140s and, you know, at least try to get eight, at least try to get to the bottom of that rep range. Um, but it's always continually trying to progress. So first what I like to do is progress within the rep range. Um, and then I progress in weight. So I'll max out my actual rep range and then I'll go ahead and start adding weight and then the cycle continues. But this is how, if you want to just continually get bigger and bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger and stronger over time, the logbook's going to do this for you. Just go ahead and, and trying to remember your lifts in your head, um, you know, and sometimes even writing it down in notes uh, on your phone and all that. It's just not as good as, you know, either one, it, an, an app that tracks it. There's some great apps out there, but you know, I like the old school method of, you know, just writing it down in an actual logbook and flipping back to the week before. But if you're progressing off your lifts week to week to week, you're going to be getting bigger and you're going to be getting a lot stronger, um, especially if you're following high intensity bodybuilding methods rather than just the high volume approach. But this even works for the high volume approach as well. Back when I did high volume before high intensity, I was still logging everything, still progressing week after week. And that's what gave me my foundation. Um, but this is my gym bag. That's everything I carry. I do have a gym pin that um, it's not the, the gym pin that's like 120 bucks. Um, it's literally one I got from Home Depot. You can go ahead and get a metal pen. And that's if I ever need to, you know, add weight to an actual machine um, to where, you know, I've maxed out the stack. You can go ahead and take a little pen um, and add a plate, essentially 25 or 35 or 45, add it to the stack. Um, and that'll go ahead and add weight once you max out that machine. Um, but that's the only other thing in my gym bag. Um, like I said, this one itself is by Wolfpack and they also come with the patches. Um, these two I got from the army. Um, this one I got from Wolfpack itself. Um, but um, that's my gym bag. That's all my gym equipment. This is literally everything I use on a daily basis when in the gym. Um, and this is my setup that I like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of this. If you have any questions, definitely drop that down in the comments down below. Um, but be happy, be positive, be powerful, and have a great rest of your day.